Jest 30 czerwca, znajdujemy się pod Tauron Areną, gdzie za chwilę rozpoczną się ostatnie na tych igrzyskach zawody w Szermierce. Zobaczmy, co do powiedzenia mają zawodnicy. How do you feel after winning the competition? Of course, I feel... I feel proud, if that's exceptional, because I'm proud of the guys, but also I'm, I'm very happy. Like, I haven't won uh, a World Cup a long time ago, like a few half years, so this was very much needed. Okay, so how are you going to celebrate the victory? We have a really short uh, celebration because on Monday we are already at training camp. In three weeks we have uh, uh, the World Championships, so just we pop a champagne and then uh, say our, our things. We are happy together, but we continue to work uh, towards the World Championship. Okay, and there was a long break during the fight between David and... Uh, oh, David and uh, Alexi, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, do you know what was the cause and why it was so long? It was um, in the semi-final, they uh, changed because of injury and they shouldn't have changed back the fencer because he was injured. So it was against the rules and they are still looking into it, but we didn't care about the rules. We were up to fencing, we, didn't, we knew we have to fence, so uh, we were just trying to get through the break and uh, I think we did pretty fine. Okay, so how do you feel after winning the competition? Well, um, I think I, I, I need some time to, to think about it or uh, just, to, just to realize that what we did tonight it was a tough day, a long day, a long final with a 10 minutes or 15 minute break in the, mean, uh, in the eighth uh, match. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I was on the piste. And, and I had to, I had to re, uh, refocus on the match, and it was it was tough. But uh, I think I did quite well. How will you celebrate the victory today? Uh, we don't know yet. First, we just want to go to the podium, listen to the national uh, anthem. Then we will go back to the village, and we will see. Congratulations on your victory and how, uh, how do you feel after the victory? We feel very happy, we are very proud to have these beautiful medals. Uh, to win in one win it's perfect and we are very proud of us and we want to continue to get uh, all the gold medals. And how are you going to celebrate today? <laughs> Tonight we we'll par uh, we'll do a party, music and drinks uh, with all the team and uh, with the guys too because they didn't, they didn't get medals but we know they are very strong and uh, we want to share this with them. And who would you say was the hardest team you fought today? The hardest team today, I think it was uh, the Italian. For me? Yes, maybe maybe for, not for Margot? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would, I would say the same. Girls. They never, they never let us uh, brief. I think. Okay, and the last question: uh, Is this your first time in Poland? And if so, how do you like it? It's Be not, a, it's not <laughs> our first time. We were asking, we were wondering if uh, it was or not. But uh, we did a World Cup in uh, Sosnovec a few years ago in junior, yes. But um, it was, uh, it was, it, it was great. We didn't visit because we didn't have time. But uh, a lot of people told us that it was a beautiful city. The organization of the competition was perfect. Very nice for us to, to be here to do the European competition. Congratulations on winning the second place. How do you feel? Uh, we are very happy. Uh, not 100%, uh, uh, but uh, we felt good to, today. Uh, we crossed a very difficult moment. Uh, we get out uh, very, very united. Uh, we are a great team and we know we're gonna win soon. What are your plans for a celebration tonight? Uh, we we can we, we will give you information. To, we will give you we will go to Casa Italia firstly. We uh, will have dinner there and celebrate there and maybe coming back to the village we will see what the uh, crack of uh, what's gonna happen. Yes. <laughs> Percy, are you satisfied with the results of today's match? Yeah. It was too hard. I think that but uh, at the first round, the score was 15-9, so it was too much, the, the different. And I said my girls, my, my girls, that it's not good, <laughs> so try it harder. And uh, then we didn't lose any, any match, 
maybe was an eagle 5-5. Five five. And what are your plans for the upcoming Olympic Games in uh, Paris? <laughs> yes, our plans that uh, we we go there, the Olympic Games. But this is a very important uh, competition because this uh, fix in the qualification. And now we are going to Milano to the um, World Championship. So I hope that we have a same a same medal as I, I will be hope. How do you feel after winning the uh, bronze medal? Um, of course, I'm very, very happy because uh, this bronze medal was, uh, it means a lot to us uh, because since the World Championship gold, we didn't, um, this is our first medal, so yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, and which fight do you think was the hardest, the toughest? I think this one, the last one, uh, because um, the Bulgarian team was leading mostly the whole time, so, so I didn't know who was gonna win. But I'm very happy that um, we won. <laughs> okay, and the last question. Uh, is it your first time in Poland? And if so, how do you like it? No, I've been here a lot of times, mostly because of fencing. But I've never been here in Krakow. But um, I didn't see much of the city because we didn't didn't have time. But uh, maybe next time. Dzisiejsze zawody już za nami. Wszystkie medale zostały rozdane, a my gratulujemy zwycięzcom i zwycięzczyniom dla Rady 17 Marek Janaszkiewicz. Kulajnoga mi przeszkadza w tle. Kulajnoga w tle mi przeszkadza. A. Drodzy Państwo, inaczej. Drodzy Państwo, właśnie jesteśmy świadkami tego, jak Marek przeszkadza. Kulajnogę. Jesteśmy uratowani, kadry jest uratowana. Dzięki.